I'm Sam Rene. I'm the Chief Executive of the Centre Scotland Green Network Trust as my day job. I'm also Director of Paths for All and I'm delighted to be able to share with you some of my experiences in terms of walking and health. I thought I was leading a pretty healthy lifestyle. I thought I was getting exercise, I thought I was eating properly. But one day I went for a medical examination and the doctor told me my blood pressure was 170 over 100. This is seriously bad news. This is something that had the potential to damage my health irreparably and I knew then that I had to do something about it. I realised quite quickly there were a few things that I could do that would make a huge difference. One of those was walking, trying to walk every day, get some exercise in, not some exercise that makes you exhausted or tired or anything else, just enough walking to help you improve your physical health. And in a very short space of time my blood pressure went from the very high level, 170 over 100, down to 120 over 80 and I was fit and healthy again. A kind of interesting thing is how do you get walking into your daily routine? Well the answer is either you make some time for it at the beginning of the day or the end of the day, half an hour is great. Or you find a way when you're working to get some walking. So if you're going to a meeting, do you really need to get the bus? Just take a bit of a walk instead. Do you need to take the car everywhere? No you don't, you can walk. So get walking as a part of your daily life, build it into your life and it becomes very easy. It doesn't become a burden or become difficult. People ask me about where I walk. As I say, if you can build it into your working life, that's great. But if you can't, just walk out from your front door and go somewhere. Just set off and walk for a while and come back again. It's great for your head, it clears your mind, and helps you to think about other stuff. I suppose the single most important thing in this is getting to the point where you want to do it for yourself. Getting your head into a place where you realise this is something you should do. Getting to that point can be quite difficult, but once you're there, everything else becomes really easy to do. And so I would ask anybody who has kind of, you, you know in yourself things are not quite right, you know you should be doing something, just get your head to a point where you want to do something about it and then it all becomes really, really easy.